Scotland's first minister has met today with EU leaders in Brussels. Scottish citizens Coming back from the gym, got the radio on, and I'm struck by how little any of this stuff matters. Like, one common denominator among almost all of my very successful business clients is that they are less concerned with current events than most people. talk about things you can do other than keep up with current events. All we have is our time. It's the one resource that when we burn it up, we can't go back and get more of it. It's gone forever. So how you use your time is hugely important. I'm going to give you some things that you can do with your time other than keep up with current events. Here's one idea. When you're in the car, and I spend a ton of time in my car, you guys know that because just about every video I shoot, this is the backdrop, my, my vehicle. I'm in this thing pretty much every day, sometimes all day. And I can listen to the radio, I can do a couple other things I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you. But one of the things that I really like to do is turn everything off, it's completely quiet, there's no interruptions. And right up here, I have my mission vision statement, my goals for the year. If I can go over this once, twice, three times a day, I start to think of ways that I can accomplish those goals. I start to come up with changes in my priorities. I start to come up with a better mindset to tackle the things that I need to do that day. Reviewing your mission, vision, values, goals, having it somewhere where you can go to it at a moment's notice when you can do it in those in-between times rather than listen to a couple songs on the radio is probably a lot better for you. When you don't want it to be quiet, when you do want it to listen to something, here's a better alternative than NPR or Morning Edition or the radio. On my iPhone, I have this app called Audible. Audible is a service that uh, is tied in with Amazon. I think they were purchased by Amazon a while back. And I have on here over a hundred books that I've purchased. I get I subscribe to a plan for 20 bucks, 25 bucks a month, where I get two credits every single month. So I can buy two books a month on Audible. Some people think oh, 25 bucks a month is a lot to spend. I look at it that this is 24 more books a year that I'm going to read than I would otherwise. And that investment of 20, 25 bucks a month in order to read 24 more books a year, I think is a bargain. So those are a couple ideas for the car, like, because I spend a lot of time in the car and I can either review my mission, vision, values when it's perfectly quiet, I can listen to a book. But what about when you're at your desk and you want that break and what's your default, right? Your default, if it's like most people, if it's like me, this is the default. You're either going to something like Facebook or you're headed over here to Google News. The same thing applies the same thing applies for your phone. Like, like you, you pick up your phone, you're in between meetings, or you got a few minutes, and you pick up your phone, and what do you go to? You go to Facebook, you go to Twitter, you go to news. That's what I do anyway. Instead of that, try this. Over here, I have a chair and a paperback book. And let me tell you, I feel so much better if I take, rather than spend below five, 10 minutes on Facebook, if I spend 15 minutes, take a 15 minute break, sit in my chair, pick up a paperback book that's always in this chair or on the table next to it, and just read 10, 15, 20 pages, changes my entire perspective. If you don't like to read, if you don't like to listen to books, and if you're fortunate enough, like I am, to work from home, then you can always take a break and just chill with these guys. But whatever you do, stay out of current events. That stuff is there just to make news. People talk about that stuff to get a reaction out of folks. Bad news is what makes the news. Rarely are you gonna hear stuff that's gonna help your business. Rarely are you gonna hear stuff that helps your attitude. Rarely are you gonna hear anything that gets you through the day easier. It's usually just gonna add mental overhead. So why go through it? Pick up a better habit 
and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I haven't even started this book yet.